Hi everyone, welcome to Cosmic Turtles. My name is Tina. Today we're doing another collective read. So let's see what's in the energies today. Is there anyone that's been having some breakthroughs in the last few days of your own, uh, whatever it is that you're going through? There's uh, definitely the energy of breaking through, whether it's a glass ceiling, whether it's internal, you can figure something out and then all of a sudden something clicked and came together and it felt like a healing. It was emotional. It was just a relief type, but also inspiring to be able to have you move forward. You feel like there's forward momentum going on. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, uh, have fun throwing it out the window. And uh, so if it does, great. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get into the collective reading right now. All right, okay, all right, forward movement. Slow and steady. It is the slowest moving night in the whole deck. However, it's the only one that makes it to the finish line. It's kind of like the story of the turtle and the hare. I don't know if everyone heard it. Uh, but for those of you that are not familiar with it, there was this hare, and he was like the fastest. So he could go real fast, and he challenged a turtle to a race. And the turtle said, okay, sure. Because the turtle was fine just to participate in something. It didn't matter if he won or not, just that he participated. He did it for himself. The hare, he's like, I know I'm going to win because I'm faster than the turtle. Ha <laughs> ha. So... The hare, uh, so they start, and then they start the race. The hare's gone, Phew. The turtles just step by step by step by step by step by step. After a while, the turtle sees that the hare is laying next to a tree. Because the hare decided to take a nap. He said, you know what, I'm so fast, I can beat him. No problem, um, I'm just gonna have a nap here. And so, you, you know, it's like people too, eh? So I'm just going to procrastinate because I know I'm really good at this. And then next thing you know, the opportunity is gone. Phew. So, at the end, the turtle is like three feet away from the finish line. The hare wakes up. He sees the turtle at the distance and he's like, oh no. He tries to rush, 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 rush. And the turtle won the race. So there's a moral to the story. And you get to feel out what that moral is. So this presents that story to me, step by step, and you'll make it there. I'm being a little biased because I'm turtle clan <laughs> on my on my maternal side. I'm swan clan on the paternal side. So it's there's there's something about that. I it still holds a little bit of mystery. The turtle clan is there. The swan clan was given as well. So I'm like, okay, it's somewhere in there. But I'm still discovering pieces and parts of my roots. Uh, I'm bear spirit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I sing. I sing. That's one of my medicines, is singing. All right. What a, ooh, look at that. It flip, it flip. I don't know if you caught it. Oh, this step-by-step -step thing. It's going to require you to have some strength. Or it's going to show you the strength you do have. The strength in being patient. The strength in having the ability to focus. The strength to not get distracted by distractions. <laughs> so it's showing you that as you move forward into the direction of something that holds value to you. Strength is also going to be pulled from your internal roots so you can use it. So remember that. Or you have noticed that you've grown in strength by taking willing action towards your own self-healing. And once you're in that momentum of self-healing and integrating pieces and parts of you that you denied, then you start to see you're more whole, more complete. Then life kind of, 
you have a feeling you got a forward momentum going on. You don't feel stuck. The stuckness, all it was, it was to have you sit there until you realize that there's something you need to look at do. You need to look at on the inside. That's all it is. You know? We make a, a mountain out of anthills, but that's the human... Uh, that's our inner child thinking, oh no, it's, you know, it's okay. Like you couldn't, you're an adult now. You can soothe that inner, that inner child and ease it into the experience of growing within you. So you have your, this is part of my teachings. It's going to go on my new uh, YouTube. It's not posted yet. It's uh, being made. And the teaching is you have that inner child. You have the adventurous teenager, you have the responsible adult, and you have the wise elder. All four of these are within you, access, accessible at any moment. Divine guidance is the one that brings you to it. Because you could say, yeah, I want this. And it's like, uh, okay, are you ready for it? <laughs> so divine guidance, that's why patience and focus is is... A reminder for me from the grandmothers that told me this growing up and in my 20s and in my 30s and in my 40s so on so forth Ooh, the middle card the lovers see these are the connections within you the aspects that are from your divine masculine the aspects that are from your divine feminine uh, it doesn't mean you're male or female. It doesn't mean that it has nothing to do with that. This is the vessel. This is how it's made. Okay. You can choose your orientation. That's up to you. That's like having a preference. Like my preference is the color blue instead of the color pink or stuff like that. This is the person I'm attracted to. This is the type, you know, so to each his own and getting to know yourself is what's important and what's, and integrating these parts so there's no internal conflict the divine masculine will hold energies of containing things it's also the one that's responsible for compartmentalization within you when you suffered trauma it's the protector side um, the divine feminine aspects are that nurturing side she's expansive but just like water for water to be contained and become like a, a pool of water, earth has to be around it. So earth is, uh, is it earth? Earth is also a female sign. Wait, fire is male, air is male, earth and water. Okay. So it's about balancing the nurturing aspect within you. And putting yourself in a container but the protector of the container is the divine masculine it's a work in progress in figuring this out right now but the definition of the card is about connecting two opposite yet complementary parts of yourself for the longest time we demonized parts of ourselves. we said no that don't belong to me but it it is and it's how is it useful how can you use it in a positive way? How can you use it for self-development? Like if someone has anger, but like anger comes out whenever a boundary is um, being crossed. For your own uh, self-development, you need that sacred space. So anger is appropriate in this case. Uh, you know, like every aspect of you is appropriate in a certain moment in life. So demonizing anger will only make it repressed within you and then you'll have problems later. And you'll wonder why you have these blockages and why, you know, you can't, you feel like you can't move forward. Okay. All right. What else do we got? Woo! All right. We got two. All right. We got two. Yay. Ooh. Mm. First, the magician. Pieces and parts of you. How you use everything that you are to create the manifestations that you'd like to have in your life. Now, 
The next card that came out is be aware of the internal conflicts. Uh, yes, it shows up as two people because conflict will arise on the inside and if you're not aware of it, it will present and manifest itself on the outside. And that one will be more in your face, right? Because maybe you shut down your emotions, you shut down your feelings, so you're not really recognizing it when it comes through on the inside first. Uh, it does happen. It's just you're not connecting to it yet. Uh, so these conflicts are the ones to use the magician with and kind of like allow yourself to be restructured in a healthier way that, that brings peace to these different aspects of yourself within. I do internal readings and I understand how it reflects on the outer world. So if you're experiencing it on the outer world towards you and things are happening to you, that's how you feel, then there is an internal mechanism that's matching up to that and it's about your own willingness to go within and see where it is that the blockages are at, okay? You remember, you have your internal wise elder. This wise elder is the part of you that gain some understanding in this life. I mean, you're an adult. You gain, you know how to connect the thoughts. So you can definitely figure out, or even um, if all you saw was injustice, inside you have a sense that you know what would be just. That's your internal wisdom right there. So use that side of you to speak with the other side of you that felt like everything was unjust. Seek out a higher connection within you a lot of times they don't come in while you're just sitting there and having thoughts a lot of times it's you'll be asking in your head and going through about your day and it's like it's there it's like an internal con it's like i want to figure this out this is when you're applying your will into getting this answer for yourself and yes you may get frustrated you may get all kinds of feelings of ways but once you calm down that's when you get an answer and a lot of times, when we're awake and we're frustrated, it's really hard to calm that momentum down. So the time that we would get an answer is when we're sleeping. Just about to fall asleep, we may get something. Just about when we're like almost awake, we may get something. Or in our dream state itself, we may get something. So it's in those three spots, you'll get an answer because you calmed yourself enough to be able to uh, receive the answer of what you were asking about, okay? And this will soothe these internal conflicts, okay? Remember, you, if, if, you know, this is all in the mental realm because it's swords. It's also about filtering through your own BS and seeing what's underneath and what's the truth of you. Don't be afraid of it. You're beautiful, you know? You may not believe it yet, and that's okay. Um, or you may have like a sense, yeah, I am beautiful. How come nobody else sees that? Well, first it starts with you seeing it, accepting it, believing it, knowing it. And then it starts the healing momentum. And then it starts with radiating. It becomes that energy that you're emanating. And then you'll have some bits and pieces of recognition. And the one that gives you the recognition right away is nature. Nature in all its forms. Uh, through the four elements, through the animal kingdom, plant, plant kingdom, whichever. That one definitely helps. Okay? So, and slowly but surely, step by step, step by step, we want instant gratification. Yeah, I understand it too. <laughs> But if I don't get it, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to give too much energy to this frustration because it's pointless. It's, all it's going to do is have me feel all kinds of ways and then I can't operate in my everyday and get to where I'm going. Okay. So you start rationalizing and, and understanding that the value in taking things step by step actually gets you somewhere. Start with small goals, like, you know, step by step. At the end of the week, you took, you took, let's say you took a step a day, whatever it is, one step per day, 
for 24 hours. At the end of the week, you took a giant freaking leap. I mean, it takes about, I could walk and it's about three steps, okay? Like if I calculate a foot and a foot and a foot, and when I'm walking, wider spread, longer legs, whatever, and uh, I took three steps. Yes, okay, great. I didn't take seven steps. That's a fucking leap, <laughs> you know? So just think about it. Slow and steady, step by step. And you will improve. You will get success. You will feel better about yourself. And it's all up to you. And you will have some type of odd and cool and a, 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 a response that you'll clearly see that only makes sense to you maybe too. Because you, you don't want it to be a response and that's not really for you. You want one that's more personalized. And you will have one. All right, so that's the message today for all of my wonderful subscribers. And please like, share, subscribe, uh, like, share. Um, if you know that this info might be of benefit to someone you know, if they're interested. And uh, so thank you. I appreciate your time. This is Tina from Cosmic Turtles. We'll see you another time.